<sighs> All right, I get it. On the channel, it says new videos every week. And for the past couple of months, there haven't been any new uploads. Uh, the reason being is I've had a couple of things going on in parallel that have taken up a lot of my time. Uh, but long story short, normal uploads will resume next week. So look forward to that. For those of you who are looking for a little bit of a life update, I thought I'd go ahead and share with all of you what's been going on. Uh, so first and foremost, the most challenging thing that I've had to deal with at the end of 2018 and the beginning of 2019 was the passing of my grandpa. Uh, for me, this has been a new experience just because I've been so lucky to have a full set of grandparents for 28 years of my life. Um, so this was the first grandparent I've lost and this happened to be the one that I looked up to the most. Uh, my grandpa was my hero. He's the one who taught me how to change oil. He taught me how to use a screwdriver. You know, he always encouraged my brother and I to build things and, 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 and to fail. You know, not everything we built or he built worked. And anytime stuff would fail and me and my brother and I would get frustrated, he would always be there laughing and encouraging us to try again. Uh, I think that's why uh, for me, at least, I've, I've been able to be resilient and, and love engineering because I love that whole process of trying new things and, and failing. And I owe that to my grandpa. Uh, so for me, that, 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 this has been the roughest and hardest thing that I've had to deal with, I think, in my life so far, uh, just because, you know, he, he, he meant the most to me. Uh, but, you know, as challenging as it was, I will say that it ended up being a really good beautiful celebration of my grandpa's life. You know, I loved being there and I loved kind of putting down my camera and, and being present and, and being able to enjoy uh, everything that my grandpa has done for his family and his friends. Um, so I, I, I couldn't be more happy to have been a part of my grandpa's life and I'll miss him, but you know, I'll always still love him. While that was all going on, uh, Jennifer and I were in the midst of moving. Uh, and of course, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Uh, when we were moving is when my grandpa's health really started to take a turn for the worse. So what ended up happening is Jennifer and I packed all of our stuff very hastily. We kind of threw stuff in bags and boxes because we just didn't have time because we were under such a time constraint. You know, by the time my grandpa passed and we were able to finally start moving, I think we had a total of maybe 24 hours to move out of our new place and into out of our old place and into our new place. Uh, so what ended up happening is we kind of just packed everything up through the back of a truck and then regurgitated everything into our new apartment. The only thing we had unpacked for a week probably was just our mattress, which we laid on the floor just so we could get some sleep. Uh, just cause that we moved during the week. So Jennifer and I still had to go to work and the funeral was that weekend. Uh, so finally things have started to calm down and I finally have a place that I can shoot in again. You know, that has obviously been a big limiting factor is not having a location to shoot at. So our apartment's finally starting to feel like a home. I think we still have some things to kind of fine tune and really get it uh, to a place that Jennifer and I are happy with. But for the most part, we are enjoying our new apartment. And the reason we moved is because Jennifer started a new job. You know, uh, Jennifer used to work as a uh, bedside night shift nurse. She has recently transitioned out of that just because night shift and being a bedside nurse started to take a large toll on her body. So she has moved into a uh, still, I think, job that's fulfilling for her and in, in the medical field, uh, but she's working nine to five. So it's been really cool or weird, cool, cool, weird, and also good uh, to, to have her here. You know, it's weird seeing her seven days a week rather than two. Uh, because when you do work night shift, it requires an extra couple of days to recover and get back on track with a normal day schedule. So I've really been enjoying spending more time with her and, you know, being able to drink coffee and just cook dinner with her. Uh, so that's been good. Uh, and, you know, we moved for that job just because one, our lease was ending, but two, Jennifer's commute was really bad from where we used to live. Uh, simply by moving 20 minutes closer to her work, she saves over an hour in her commute. Uh, luckily for me, my commute is still the same because I'm going against traffic. Uh, so lucky me. Uh, and then just to kind of end things on a good note, the, the last thing that Jennifer and I have both been dealing with is the planning of our wedding. 
Uh, we are having our wedding in November down in Southern California. So amongst moving and my grandpa's uh, passing, any free weekend we've had, we've, we've spent that traveling back and forth between Northern California and Southern California. Since our wedding will be down there, we've been meeting a lot of local Southern California vendors. And at first we weren't completely sold on having a wedding. We really wanted to have a very intimate and small wedding. Uh, but funny enough, Jennifer and I both come from very large families. So by the time we cut down the guest list, it was still the size of a very large party. So we decided to kind of go full send and, and do the whole uh, grand celebration, I guess, which ended up working out because her mom and my mom both wanted us to have a wedding. So why not please my mom and my future mother-in-law while we were at it? So after going through all these meetings, we, 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 we started to get more excited, especially after meeting with our florist and, and designer. Uh, we got a glimpse into what our wedding would look like and Jennifer and I couldn't be happier and we are really excited to celebrate with our close loved ones and friends. Uh, finally, I just wanted to end this update uh, by thanking all of you. I didn't really expect anyone to notice that I was gone. You know, I thought people would just watch and you know, whatever, but it turns out people did notice and I would get positive messages and, 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 and love and support, which ended up doing a lot for me uh, during this time uh, dealing with my grandpa, which uh, was was really nice. You know, it really did kind of get me out of a slump and really uh, had me looking forward to, to getting back to this point, being able to make videos and, 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 and being able to interact. You know, it kind of showed me that life still moved on and that there were still people out there, you know, willing to show love and support. So I can't thank you all enough. I look forward to making uh, more videos for all of you and, and sharing more uh, of my life and, and, and insights I have. So, you know, thanks to all of you that have, you know, sent out love, positive vibes and support. Uh, that's uh, about it. Just a nice little short update. I hope this wasn't too boring. Uh, again, look forward to making new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.